This is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. What we have here today is a new PWM that we're going to be offering on our website. It is a 50 amp max continuous current that uses pulse width modification. First thing you'll notice about it is it is a smaller board than most 50 amp PWMs. A lot of people are used to this one here, which uses six MOSFETs. This one here uses one MOSFET, and the reason why it can do that is it runs more efficient because it is micro controlled. Yes, digitally micro controlled, which is based on the PIC design for high efficiency, high power output. So this unit is going to run a lot cooler. As you can see the uh, heat sink is much smaller. It has two knobs, one for duty cycle and one for uh, frequency. Also has an optional LCD screen that will tell you your uh, frequency you're at and your duty cycle. The unit has uh, two functions. It has a fixed frequency setting at 100 megahertz, and it also has a variable setting, which we have it on now. It's a little jumper here that you change to put it on vari variable setting. So as uh, let's start it up here. In case you can see the duty cycles at about 15 percent. And I can change the uh, frequency right here with this knob, and you can hear it. Once you find your frequency or resonant frequency that you need, push this button here. Green LED will come on, and that frequency is now locked into place. And you can go ahead and change your duty cycle. In the variable frequency mode operation, the frequency is adjustable from 244 Hz to 3.125 kHz. The duty cycle is fully adjustable from 0 to 100% in both modes, fixed or variable. The controller also offers a built-in soft start feature that gradually reduces the stress on your tubes or plates. What it does is, when you flip it on, it takes up to 1.5 seconds to come up to full power. So it's a soft start feature. When a hydrogen generator is turned off and on a lot, the stress that happens with the full burst of power onto the plates creates micro fissures on the plates, thus reducing the life of your tubes or your plates in your hydrogen generator. So this unit can uh, can help eliminate that. This also reduces the electrodynamic stress on your cables also, extending the life of your cables. This PWM comes with a fan built in and the two knobs. The LCD display is a is a separate option that can be purchased with the unit. As you can see today we have it hooked up to a wet cell. I've, ha I've hooked it up to the wet cell so we can so you, I can let you guys see the actual reaction that's happening. As I turn it on up to about 5% duty cycle you can see the reaction happening on the plates. This unit can be used on a wet cell. Its intended use is for a dry cell like this one here or others that you can find on my website. The PWM will control your amperage going to your cell 
thus reducing thermal runaway and heating up of your electrolyte. You can also control high levels of electrolyte concentration for winter weather driving. So if you want to use your hydrogen cell in the winter time, you're going to have to put a lot of electrolyte, like KOH, into the uh, system to keep it from freezing, which is going to draw more amperage. This unit can help to control that so you can use your hydrogen generator year-round. See all our PWMs in our electronics section at greenfuelh2o.com. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.